are skates with a braking system. In conventional skates, the skates are stopped by using rubber pads kept at the front. The person using the conventional skate has a high percentage of falling when he applies the brakes. We wondered if there was a better way to control the speed of the, brake, of the wheels without putting the user in an awkward position to apply the brake pad. We looked at various mechanisms to stop the wheels and finally zeroed in on a design quite unique from products available in the market. We put, in, we put in a new orientation of the spring to constrain the motion of the brake pad such that they move by equal distances when applied. We decided to give control to the brakes via cycle brake handles. Whenever the handle is pressed, the brakes come into play and stop the wheels. The brake handle will be attached to the user's hip through velcro belts for convenience. So now I'm talking about the development. We first decided to make a complete prototype of wood. As you can see, we made a frame from wood, uh, a base, and then we made supports and made some L-shaped joints to make the support completely erect. We plan to make a rod, steel rod to pass from these holes so as to make space for wheels. Then, uh, and we will apply the braking system in between here. But uh, during the testing, we found out that the wheels were not so, uh, the wheels made of wood were not uh, performing so well. They withered out, and uh, they, we had uh, many other problems with it. As it cannot sim simply support the a single human's weight, so we switched on to the the prototype. Just made uh, as you can see uh, this braking system. Now talking about this braking system, uh, we searched a, um, a couple of braking systems. We looked looked through the braking system currently used in the bicycles and uh, searched some of them on the internet. And finally, we arrived at some uh, at the one which which was perfect for our dimensions and uh, best suited for this case. As you can see, the springs design is unique of its kind. Its kind. Uh, we got this design through the, through the testing. We found this one to be the perfect suited for the, in this case so as to get this back to its original position and get this suitab suitably placed between the two wheels and uh, making it go to complete out, out to the wheels so as to stop. Now this now this system is uh, made. Uh, this system is assembled perfectly symmetrically, so as to make the weight symmetric. Uh, and then, then we applied sheet metal on the top, so as to make it look good. For some more aesthetics, we attach some mud guards on the front. Explain the working of the braking system in this case. We uh, will pull the handle outwards, and the inner wire, the smaller wire attached to the handle, is pulled with the handle towards out. You see, the outer covering, the black wire, is constant in length. So when we pull it outwards, this uh, this small wire, this uh, black wire, is forced to move ahead. This is slab one atta uh, attached to the black wire is forced to move ahead with the black wire. Now you see this smaller wire is attached to the slab 2 is, hinged, is tightly tightened about this screw. Now when I uh, pull, pull the handle outwards you see it's moving inside. And these two slabs are hinged about these two points. When I pull the handle out you see the braking system is working as these two slabs rotate about these two points and the braking pads are going out. The work of the spring is just basically to bring the outer going pads back into their initial position and that's how it works.
There were several problems that we faced while we realized the product. The main problem was that of precision and the accuracy of the dimensions of the different components. We tried to make the axles in the machine shop, but the attempts were futile because the diameter of the rods were too small to be threaded in the machine shop. We tried out various uh, configurations of the brakes, but only one could solve our purpose. At last, we all realized that to make even a small component required a great hard work in the machine. Other problems that we faced were the height of the slots for the brakes. We had to readjust them again and again to get what we desired. Problems with the spring were as explained earlier. The, unfortunately, the handle broke down at the final moment and using aryl light was the only fast and possible solution.